For my best and most trusted cat adjuster resources, software, and gear, go to adjustertv.com slash resources. We are independent adjusters. That means that we work first for ourselves. It also means that we alone are responsible for getting and maintaining our gear and software and our training skills and knowledge. In this video, I interview Cassandra Gallegos, the CEO and president of the independent adjusting firm CCMS about the importance of self-guided learning. It's not enough to wait for a firm or carrier to say, hey, you need to get this or that training. As an independent, it is our duty to ourselves to seek out and engage with the best training we can get our hands on, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. If you're anything like me and you watch a lot of videos on YouTube, you'll wanna be able to see new videos when they come out, instead of a bunch of junk based on your most recent searches. That's what subscribing to channels does for you. Doing the bell thing will tell YouTube to ping you the moment a new video comes out. And now, here's Cassandra. My name's Cassandra Gallegos. I'm the founder and chief claim officer CEO of CCMS and Associates. We're a specialty independent adjusting firm. Um, our flagship product is very unique. We focus on complex issues post-storm, post-daily claim, first touch handling, and that has allowed us to open up other work that we have daily work, uh, catastrophe work. We actually have a call to action for 48 states to be filled. Very excited with the with our company. We're five years old. Um, my history, I'm 33 years as a claim professional, both started as an independent adjuster way back when in Crawford days. Um, also, half of my career has been at a carrier. And before I opened up CCMS and Associates Complex Claims Management Solutions, I actually helped an insurance company form. Uh, all the way from getting the certificate of authority to delivering the operational model for the company and the claim result. Um, in that, I really had an amazing experience and learning more of how adjusting risk management fits into a carrier's focus. Um, when the company sold at a profit, which was good, uh, CCMS became an entity and the same claim model that focused on complex issues and separating complex issues from non-complex issues in claims was formed and it's working very well. We're very excited for our future in, in 2020 and beyond really. Again, 48 states have been called to action. It's our first year at NACA. I don't know if you know that. Um, very exciting to be here at NACA and meet interesting people and get to know everyone trying to find the right fit for our team. Um, NACA, I, I'm very impressed with the organization. I believe from what I've searched, this is the only organization that supports uh, an adjuster learning how to be an adjuster from the very beginning, a 1099 who wants their own business and some independence, an entrepreneur who wants to to do this job of adjusting. Um, I really do believe that NAC is the only facility that I know other than individual, individual in, in, independent companies that do that. Um, so I was very impressed with the organization and I really would love to be part of helping volunteerism and growing the group because it's important that we're all together and, and that we help each other out in this community. You end up fi finding this role and succeeding in the role of adjusting if you um, really your first focus is helping others. Um, there are so many people who who were in teaching or or law enforcement or or even just in construction and helping put people's lives back together, different walks of life. And they found that adjusting actually gives um, a 360 view of things. You you're there um, to help people in a time of need. You find satisfaction of that. You're very oriented in technology and you're able to be variant in a day of decisions. You use your critical thinking. I really do love our profession um, and I want to encourage anyone who wants a very interesting day to happen um, it's never the same every day uh, to please consider adjusting so we're, we're going to use the word IA independent adjuster it means basically you are your own master right you and an independent adjuster um, you have to seek knowledge so that's really you can't just wait for somebody to sit back and give it to you you have to look and seek knowledge, and, and that knowledge can be in the form of, well, how do I even climb on the roof without 
hurting myself, right? How do you get that knowledge? Some of the some of the things that as adjusters and we're you know we're talking property adjusters right now, but there's also other adjusters, right? How do I take a recorded statement? Um, and that could cross over into the property realm. So as an independent adjuster, you're going to have to seek knowledge. Now whether you choose to do that with an independent adjusting firm that is willing to help you and help you teach, that's, that's a great idea, but you're still independent. So I, I encourage continual knowledge and continual growth, even people who've been doing this for 20 years. Um, I'm a lifelong learner as, as a teacher, provider, right? I, I, I seek knowledge and I don't know everything, so I, lo I learn. Um, so if you are in the property world, construction is big, understanding mechanisms at, and how water runs throughout a house, um, whether you're a catastrophe adjuster and understand materials, especially roof materials would be important. Um, get the knowledge from the source, don't just buy, not buy word of mouth only. You know, get, get a knowledge by somebody who's certified, become certified, um, don't just wait for someone to say, oh, well, this type of claim, you handle it this way. Seek, seek the, the source. Um, if you're in the uh, daily claim adjusting for property, uh, even more so, you need to understand plumbing, you know, passive water systems, supply systems, um, and, and even in catastrophe, you've got the same problem, especially in the, the northern states when we have freeze claims. So um, there's great communities out there, other, other locations, but seek your local, maybe your claim organization. Each state might have or each city might have a claim organization to go to. So you're in control of your destiny as an independent adjuster and knowledge is going to be your best thing. If you've got that knowledge, you'll get a leg up from an independent adjusting firm like CCMS and Associates. Um, and then of course show your passion. And we always ask at our, when we're talking to our independent adjusters, what's your superpower? And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.